This is Chris from Implants, and you're watching Rock Cut Media. Fuck yeah. We got started as more of a recording project. Um, I had some songs that uh, I had written for Pulley that really weren't Pulley-type tunes, and um, I wanted to catalog the songs. I wanted to record them as demos. I'm wondering if they could bring the bass up a little bit in the house. Yeah, that'd be nice. I don't think there's enough. Yeah, anyway. What? so Yeah, let me get back to the subject here. Anyway, um, so I got together with Chris and we started playing the songs that I had and I wanted to go to the studio and record them and I was going to do the bass and the other guitars and stuff like that. Then it turned into uh, meeting a guy by the name of Chris Del Rio who was our bass player and he had some song ideas and he contributed his songs and then Chris called uh, Rob Ramos from Strung Out and Rob Ramos got involved and we kind of put all our songs together and we needed a vocalist so we talked to Ken Conte who was the singer for The Tank. And what turned in, what started as a demo uh, type of project turned into a full band. Uh, we started with eight songs, we added four more. Uh, it, was a, it was a completely self, uh, self, uh, what do you call it? Produced. Produced, and uh, as far as money goes, we are paying for it ourselves. It turned into a full record. Now we didn't have an album at the time, but then Cybertracks picked us up. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of shows this last, in 2012 we did, we were actually lucky enough to get on the NoFX tour toward the end of the year, November into December. Um, we also did uh, Chicago, we did Riot Fest. We played a show uh, a year, a little over a year ago in Calgary. Um, what else did we do, Chris? Gross Rock, we did um, Japan. Yeah, I mean, for a band that's only been together for about a year and a half, two years, we've been very privileged and lucky to get what we've gotten. And again, it started out as a project more than anything else and turned into a band. So we were not getting together like to be a super group. We actually got together because we're all friends. That we understand like where we where all of us come from. So it was like an intention like just to do demos. But like once we heard the songs, we went, this could be this actually could be something. And right. Right, and, and we got kind of labeled at the beginning as a super group, and it wasn't our intent. It was we all kind of live in the same area, and we needed people to, to play with and record with. Um, and then we kind of got labeled as that, and we kind of hoping we go beyond that label of being a super group and people listen to our music more than look at, it, look at who's in the band. What's happening right now, we just got locked in a couple of days ago to do Hits and Pits in Australia in May, which we're really excited about. Um, we are going to record one song right now for, I believe it's the cancer, for the, the same thing that tonight's for. Um, so we're going to, in fact, Tuesday we're going to get together and work on the song initially, uh, work on vocals and melodies and stuff like that. And we're going to go in the studio with Ryan Green and record that. And uh, from there on, we're probably going to take it one or two songs at a time and try and put a whole record together over, over the course of time. We really want to keep it going, you know, and not stagnate too much. I want to play as much as possible. I want the band to play as much as possible. I really like playing with implants. I like the band as it is, and, and uh, things are going really well for us. I love the music we're doing, and so I just want to keep it going. I want to get up to Canada again, more than anything else. Yeah. I want to get up to Canada and do a full tour, and to play just more than, more than just a one-off. I want to do a whole, a bunch of cities in a row, whether it's with a bigger band or whether it's on our own. The thing with like all of us is like we've all all of our bands have like toured Canada before and it's like every time we come here, no matter what band we're in, it's been awesome. So we actually want to keep that up. I mean we we did one show in Calgary before our album even came out. Like it was off word of mouth and it was packed in Calgary. I'm like, I, no album out, nothing. And it was packed. So I know that we could like do a, a good thing here in Canada. Because I mean Canada here, they get it. They get it here. It's like, you're, like I, I hate to say this about America, but America is like so fickle when it comes to like, they're like they love punk rock for a minute, then they go to nesting, then they go to nesting. We Canada like gets it. Like it's all if you're punk rock, you're punk rock. Yeah, I want to thank Canada for last year and also hopefully in the future when we come out. Thank you guys for your support and for your support as well with the interview and everything. And we're really excited about coming back up here again. We'll, we will be out here as soon as we possibly can.
things are things are coming together right now. We're working things out. The whole year is ahead of us. We just got to plan it out, but we will be up here again.